Hi guys, Chris here again with another X98 Air 3G video, this time the internals again. I'm just going to do a modification, the same one that I did to the X98 Pro, and I'm going to put a copper heatsink on top of the Atom, which is right here. Now the motherboard, you can see here that we've got the 512 megabytes RAM chips here, each of them, so in total two gigabytes there, there's Samsung RAM chips here, here's the Toshiba EMMC, just under this here is our Atom, and here's the 3G modem, SIM card slot, micro SD, same camera layout and everything as the X98 Pro, so with a 5 megapixel rear autofocusing camera. The good X controllers under here for the touch digitizer, we have the same two panels there. Overall, the build quality is really good. It's really well put together. I'll just pick it up and get a closer look at the camera. Now, this is shot on 4K, 4K so if you want to see this, Nice and sharp, increase the settings in YouTube there and just to 4K or even 2K. Even if your monitor doesn't support it, it will make the video a lot sharper and you'll be able to see a lot more details if you are really interested to see the motherboard there in high detail. Now I'm going to quickly do this mod here. I'm just doing this for someone who contacted me via the web my website and asked to have an, the latest 64 GB model and if I could do the mod for them. So they're just paying me a little bit extra of what I'm selling via eBay to do the modification for them to reduce the temperatures. Now I already tested this model out. It got up to 51, 53 degrees doing a stress test from CPU-Z. So the temperatures aren't bad at all. So I don't really think it's necessary to do this, but it will definitely help lower the temperatures and it might be able to turbo for a little bit longer. Okay, so I went a little bit overboard with the thermal adhesive paste on the RAM chips there and a little bit squeezed that on the side, but that's not too much of a problem. I put uh, two copper plates there between the, the RAM chips and then the larger, this is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters here on the actual Atom die there. So that should be enough there. And the shielding plate, I'm gonna put that back on top and just put a tiny dog in the middle of Arctic Silver 7 thermal compound there to connect with that and later put a thermal pad on top of this to have contact with the rear housing of the tablet. The same thing that I did with the X98 Pro and I think that's probably about the best you can do. This is going to lower the temperatures even more so this should be a very cool running tablet even when fully loaded with this mod. Now because I don't have any one millimeter thermal pads, probably about even up to maybe five centimeters you could get along here, just one big one millimeter pad on there. But I don't have any with me at the moment. So what I'm just going to use is the half a millimeter pads here that I have left over. And they'll still give some contact with the back of the metal shell here to help transfer some of that heat away from where I have the copper there and the, the other heat sinks there. Now I put some IC Diamond 7 between the shielding and the copper here. So I use just a little bit of this and a couple of dogs on the middle each, so that should help transfer heat over. So I'm going to put it back together now and have a look at the temperatures. Okay, I just encountered a slight problem just testing putting the rear of the housing back onto the tablet. And these two thermal pads here are going to have to go because they are putting a little bit of pressure on the screen. And you can just see the tiniest little mark where the screen is actually touching the digitizer. So those two there I'm going to have to remove. And you're probably safer to go, if you are going to put the copper on the RAM, you're safer to go with just half a millimeter. Uh, thermal pads here on the back if you're going to do that this will be a lot better and I'm just going to flip it over and put it back together and see if it's all good here's the end result really good thermals now they're just crazy 41 degrees is the max I've been running the CPU-Z stress test here and that's been going for 15 minutes you can see there the timer 15 minutes and along here you can see that it's 100% Max, it's just been running at 100% the whole time, the CPU, and it's even, at the moment, it's running some of the cores at 38 degrees, and the core max, 41, that's incredibly low, I mean, they even idle at that temperature, before this tablet had the core max at around 63 degrees, after about 15 minutes of running the CPU at 100% the whole time, uh, of course, if I game, it's going to be a little bit higher than this. So if I'm stressing both the GPU and the CPU at the same time, it will increase a little bit. But those results there speak for themselves. If Tech Class could do this from the factory, just put a small little copper plate 
on the back of the shielding maybe that has contact with the Atom CPU die would make this huge difference. So I've lowered temperatures there massively and it's not even getting warm. The back of the tablet is not it's not warm at all, nothing. Before it would get quite hot around this area here. That's about where the chip is here. And now nothing. It's really, really, really good. So excellent results there and I do only recommend doing this if you do have experience with opening up tablets and you've done this kind of thing before because you could accidentally short out something inside the tablet, you've got static there and it might pay to also unsolder the cables to the battery so you've got less chance of shorting anything out there so be careful and good luck with the mods thanks for watching the video hopefully see you soon